In this blues guitar video, we're gonna go over the shuffle blues. This is a two finger shuffle blues. This is one of the most important things that you need to know as a guitar player. Welcome to Rock Like the Pros. I'm Terry Carter, and this is a little series we're doing, all in prep. The one, make sure that you get the importance and get down some blues basics. But two, to let you know about the free blues workshop that we got going on, we'll put a link below that you can go sign up for that. So make sure to come on over. All right, we did a video, number one. It was more of a strum and blues. We talked a little bit about blues history and went over the form of the blues. That's a really important lesson. So if you haven't seen that, we'll put a link to that video, but that's like part one of this little series. This one is gonna take the 12 bar blues. And as we talked about in that last video was how important the blues is. This is really the foundation of so many styles of music, really. And the most important thing you need to get down as a guitar player. But now we're gonna change it. Instead of doing like open strumming chords, we're gonna do this. The shuffle blues, right? This is a two string blues. And it's one of the things I remember I learned really early on in my guitar playing days. And it's something that I still play and still use to this day. So it is that important. But before we get to that, <laughs> I'll get to that in a second. Uh, if you're new to the channel or are watching this video, aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification. And then throughout this video, drop a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Are you enjoying it? Is it hard for you? Is it easy? And then also make sure to smash the like button and share this video. Doesn't matter what you have, okay? You can have an electric guitar. You can have acoustic guitar. I'm going to be plugged in. I have a little, not little. I have a Marshall 1970 100 watt super bass over there with an orange two by 12 cabinet. That's probably a little overkill for what we're doing, but that's what I had set up and I'm just using that. Um, and I got a vintage Gibson right here for you. So, all right, are you ready? Because if you're ready, I'm ready, and I'm excited to dive in. So let's go. So this is the two-string blue. Right? We're going to be in the key of A. What does that mean? A is a one chord. The D is a four chord. And the E is a five chord. I'll go over all those. But let's just start here. Just open fifth string. First finger on the fourth string. Second fret. We're going to hit this twice. We are going to be playing with a shuffle feel. All right. If you don't understand what that means, it's okay. Just follow me uh, for this. We have other videos that describe what the shuffle feel is. You're going to hit that twice, and then on beat two, you're going to just add your third finger to the fourth string, fourth fret. Keep the first finger down. Hit that twice. Take it off. Put it on. One and two and three and four. And I'm doing all downstrokes. For now, I'm using a pick. If you want to use your thumb or something, that's totally fine as well. So just do this for me, just for a second. Three and two and three and four. All right, so that was two measures. Now we are going to drop a quick change in this, and we talked about that in the last video. The quick change just simply means on measure two, you're going to the D chord. Now to get to the D chord, if you're here on the A chord, just simply move your first finger down. And now your picking hand is going to go from the fifth string to the fourth string. And you're going to hit four and three. You're going to do the same exact pattern. So it's one and two and three and four. And exactly the same pattern. Now that was measure two. That was a quick change. We're going back up to measure three and four for the A chord. Three and, and two, three, one, two. Now. For the next two bars, five and six, you're going back to the D7 chord. So just simply move your finger down. Three and. Back to the one chord. <laughs> back to the one chord here on measure seven, eight, three, four. The reason why I was laughing is because sometimes when I'm doing this, especially so I'm adding a little palm you here, so I'm just palming the strings a little bit. And that 
creates a great sound as well. But that's a little bit more of a harder technique and an intermediate technique. It's not really advanced, but but something you can do if you want. We're not going to do it in this video. I just I'm laughing because sometimes I do it without even thinking about. It. All right, now the last four bars. Remember the twelve bar blues is a cyclical cycle, just twelve bars over and over again. The last four. This is where it gets a little more challenging because you got to switch chords on every single measure. All right, so you're going to start with the E chord. Open sixth string, and then your first finger is on the fifth string, second fret. And you're gonna do that one and two, three and four. And you hear that rumble, that super bass amp I got going on? Yeah, amazing. All right, then you're gonna jump down. You're gonna jump down two strings to the D here. All right, that's measure ten. Just do it one time. Back to the A seven here, and or A chord. Three, four, and and then the last bar, measure twelve, up to the E chord, and one. As I mentioned, that's the hardest part because you're switching around so much. Let's just do those last four bars. It's 9, 10, 11, 12, and it's E, D, A, and E. Three, and, two, three, and. All right, and then you would repeat the cycle over and over again, or when you're ready to end, you can just end right on a... An A chord. Now we're about to bring in the backing track. The backing tra track is absolutely killer. It's a real big part of my teaching is the backing track. Helps teach you rhythm, playing in time, confidence. So that's why I always like to use backing tracks. Don't forget, link below for the free blues workshop. Okay, And that workshop is going to really dive into this stuff we're talking about, plus even more, and it's totally free. So sign up below. All right. I'm going to make an announcement at the end of this video, but for now, we're going to bring in the backing track. A one, two, three, four. How did you do on that? Leave a comment below how you did one to five, one meaning you need some work, five meaning you got it, no problem. Some of the common pitfalls for this is one, hitting more than just a two string, not hitting enough strings, maybe just hitting one, or not locking with the backing track. So those are kind of some of the things that people struggle with with this, but I know that you got it and I can't wait to read your comments below. Besides the free workshop that I mentioned, I have a brand new course, the beginning blues guitar mastery. Not only do we get into this kind of stuff, we get into some strumming, we get into some soloing, we get into some scales, so get into a little finger picking as well, but it's a great course to get into the blues, especially if you like this. We'll put a link to that below. That's the Rock Like the Pros beginning blues guitar mastery course. So, all right, that's going to do it for me. we got another video in this series coming up next. I appreciate you being here. All the support, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, all that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, that's going to do it. I'm out of here, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.